Hello, my name is Eldon Matlick and I'm the Horn Professor here at the University of Oklahoma. I have a wealth of experience not only in the teaching field and uh, college but also I started out as a public school teacher teaching band. I also have 42 years of professional orchestral experience with 26 of those being as principal horn of the Oklahoma City Philharmonic. The studio here at OU usually fluctuates between 12 and 16 and that's by design. Typically about half the studio comes from out of state. Currently we have students not only from Oklahoma but also Indiana, Texas, Nebraska as well as Tennessee. We also have a mix of undergraduate and graduate students. And the graduate students are important because they act as good role models and mentors for the younger students. What we have available as far as degree programs here are degrees in performance, that's the Bachelor of Music. Then we have the Bachelor of Music Education and that's our most popular degree and really for any institution the BME is the only true professional degree offered at the undergraduate level. This means that you can actually immediately get work after college. And then we have a third. We have the Bachelor of Musical Arts. It's a performance oriented degree, but you have the opportunity of getting outside expertise in a completely unrelated field. I have students representing each area in, uh, in uh, degree programs here. Let's talk about horn study here at OU. First of all, you get weekly lessons by me, and that's important. You don't want to go somewhere where you're studying with a graduate student for several years. We also have a weekly studio class, and in this class we may do some sort of presentation, lectures, or clinics. Sometimes we'll have a performance class. Somebody gets up into play and then we discuss. Another thing that we do at the end of the semester, we do have a formal studio recital where everybody will get up and play something. And that's important, getting a lot of good performance experience. The Horn Studio also has a lot of enrichment opportunities. We bring frequent guest artists in. Over the years, I've brought in over 40, you can see them on the wall, uh, 40, 45 internationally known guest artists. Also, we host workshops every year. We have also performance competition opportunities available within the School of Music. And for those that are really competitive, if they want to compete nationally or internationally, we do have support systems to have our students be able to do that. Let's talk about the studio environment because that is really important to a prospective student. First of all, it's a very supportive environment, not only within the studio, but also within the School of Music Plus, the university itself is a very student-friendly and student-oriented campus. Within the studio, there is competition, but it's friendly competition. And we have an excellent mix of personalities as well. The studio, in general, is a very close-knit group, and this has been the way it has been for, it seems like, forever. So the you know, horn players hang out together, do things together, and it's really nice. It's a, like a little clique or a club, which if you are here, I know that you would enjoy. Next, I would like to talk to you about the audition process here at OU. We understand that this can be a stressful event for young people, so we in the brass area try to make this as easy and as painless as possible. We don't make anyone jump through a lot of hoops. We know talent when we hear it. And so what we recommend is you preferably work up two solos for us. One lyrical, the other that has some technique or facility. That way we can hear you, you know, play 
not only technical material, but we just want to hear just some beautiful song-like playing from you. Now, if you don't have the time to work up two solos, we will ask you to substitute one of the all-state tryout music that, uh, that you probably are familiar with. So we'll have a technical etude there, and then one of your solos of choice. Upon your audition, you'll be notified regarding of your acceptance into the School of Music within, within probably four to five days. Those with special talent will have their names forwarded to the Music Scholarship Committee here in the School of Music for consideration. Now, because of the COVID situation, we are accepting video auditions this year. This could either be posted privately on YouTube and you would just send us a link, or else we could set up a time uh, so that my colleagues and I can, all, can hear you via a Zoom audition. Your audition can be submitted any time, but the absolute deadline for music scholarship consideration is March 1st. So make sure that you have your video posted and up by March 1st so we can preview. Next, I would like to talk to you about the OU Horn Ensemble. I started the Horn Ensemble back in 1985, and it's been in continuous existence since then. We are renowned for our appearance as across the U.S. We've uh, been a featured group at six international horn symposia. We've also appeared as a featured group at seven Oklahoma Music Teacher Association conferences. And we've appeared at 12 smaller regional workshops across the U.S. In 2018, we were really pleased to receive an invitation to go to Austria to celebrate the 135th anniversary of the Vienna Waldhorn Verein, or the, that means the Vienna Horn Society. We attended concerts there in Vienna. We had master classes with some of the Philharmonic horn players. And then we shared a program with a with a society in Vienna and a few days later in Eisenstadt, which was the home of Franz Joseph Haydn. We rehearse once a week for 90 minutes and we have a variety of repertory. We have traditional works for the ensemble and some newer works that are quite challenging. Plus, we have a lot of material that has been written expressly for us by people that hear us, uh, composers and whatnot. We also perform a good share of pop and jazz uh, music with a full rhythm section. And this is important for not only performers, because people that are performing may want to do film work, they may need to do recording dates, jingles, and so they need to know how to play the pop idiom. And so this is an important vehicle for that. Plus, it's so much fun. We have over a hundred videos of, uh, of performances on YouTube. So why don't you go and check some out? We have some of the pop stuff, we have some of the traditional, and we have some of the modern. Next, I would like to have some of my colleagues here at the School of Music talk about ensemble opportunities that awaits you. I am Dr. Shanti Simon, the Director of Bands here at OU. We have many opportunities for you to participate in bands. We have the Pride of Oklahoma Marching Band that performs at all of the OU football games. We have the Sound of the Sooners Basketball Band, and we have four concert bands, Wind Symphony, Symphony Band, Boomer Campus Band, and Sooner Campus Band. So, whether you are a music major or minor, or you simply just want to continue to play your instrument in college, we have a band for you. The Wind Symphony is the premier wind ensemble at the university. 
It is made up of the top performing wind and percussion players in the School of Music, both graduate and undergraduate. With the Wind Symphony, I am passionate about creating real world professional level band experiences for our students and in finding creative ways to impact and connect with audiences. As musicians and performers and conductors, we all need to be thinking about new and innovative ways to bring more people to the concert hall. Students in the OU Wind Symphony will engage with many facets of the music profession, from annual recording sessions to audience engagement exercises to professionally produced music videos and tours. They will leave here ready to get jobs as versatile and accomplished musicians who understand the current landscape of music making in our world.
Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Hancock. I'm the director of the OU Symphony Band. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about what it is that we do at OU with that symphony band. Um, the first thing that we do is we program great music that you're going to love playing. It's challenging, it's diverse, it brings in all different kinds of styles that are going to make sure that you're always on your toes. The second thing is we rehearse with high expectations, both musically, technically, and with a, a human presence. So I want you to know that you're going to grow quickly, rapidly, and enjoy making music with us and begin to make lifelong friendships and relationships in our ensemble, as well as develop your skills not only as a player, but as a teacher. A couple of interesting facts about the OU Symphony Band is the membership of the group is quite talented. Most of the students in the ensemble are freshman and sophomore level music education majors, but it's open to everybody that's interested in playing music and has auditioned to be a part of the group. Additionally, the group is known regionally across many states as one of the top performing ensembles of its kind. This year, for instance, we're getting ready to perform at the Oklahoma Music Educators Association as the featured ensemble. These kinds of experiences are open to anybody who is willing to audition and put forth great work for this ensemble. Good afternoon, I'm Jonathan Shames. I'm the uh, Director of Orchestras at the University of Oklahoma School of Music, and I'm also the Artistic Director of OU Opera Theater. Um, we have lots of opportunities here for 
players who are uh, interested in increasing their experience and involvement with the great works of the orchestral repertoire and the operatic repertoire. Our orchestra plays three concerts about a per semester, um, as well as uh, being in the pit for a fully staged opera. And uh, they really take on a great deal of work. We often play ballet as well. Um, so players here get uh, an experience in the pit, on the stage. Some of the uh, great works we've done in the last few years include Brahms IV, Beethoven III, Schumann symphonies, Schubert Unfinished, of course, Petrushka, and also the Firebird of uh, Stravinsky, and also a great deal of new music, ranging from works by Luigi Nono to the um, uh, young Chinese composer Wang Lu, who was here with us last year. We did a concert of Haydn's Symphony and Debussy's La Mer uh, with the Oklahoma premiere of Wang Lu's Wailing. So we try to give as varied and wonderful experience as we possibly can. We have a group of very, very motivated students here uh, who come together in a program that meets twice, uh, three times a week, uh, sometimes more, is performance oriented. And that's very much what uh, the opera area does as well. That involves uh, uh, young singers. We try to involve graduate singers and young singers. And some of our orchestral players have become so entranced that they have auditioned for opera orchestras here and in Europe and have gotten jobs. So we've been very thrilled about that. Um, the orchestra has played recently in Dallas and also in Houston. Uh, we try to go out on the road a little bit every few years. Uh, but most of our work uh, is done here, and we reach a wide audience, I think, through our live streaming. I would be more than happy to talk about the opera program or the orchestra program with any young person who is interested in coming to the University of Oklahoma, and I invite you to contact me, and uh, perhaps to watch our videos online. It's a pleasure to speak with you, and I hope we see you here on the campus of the University of Oklahoma at some point in the near future.
my name is Brian Brett. I'm, an, I'm the director of the Pride of Oklahoma, the University of Oklahoma Marching Band. The Pride of Oklahoma Marching Band's mission is threefold. Firstly, we serve the University of Oklahoma as first class ambassadors, both at home and while traveling. Secondly, we support the Sooners with relentless energy at all times, regardless of the external circumstances that we encounter. And thirdly, we in, engage and inspire Sooner fans through our performances on the field, in the stands, and elsewhere. All of our band faculty, staff, and student leaders are committed to providing our student members with the very best collegiate band experience possible. It is our goal to ensure that our students feel welcome and valued and appreciated, that they experience a supportive and encouraging organizational culture, they are encouraged to grow as performers both musically and visually, and they have a positive physical, musical, emotional outlet through participating in the Pride. Simply put, we want to help our students succeed at the University of Oklahoma and beyond through their positive experience as a Pride of Oklahoma member. The Pride of Oklahoma is a special place within the culture of our university. Our members are a valued part of the Sooner Game Day experience, whether in Norman or all across the country. Since 1999 alone, we have appeared in 21 consecutive postseason bowls, including five Orange Bowls, three Sugar Bowls, three Fiesta Bowls, two Rose Bowls, and two Cotton Bowl appearances. Over the years, we have supported the Oklahoma Sooners to seven national championships, 49 conference championships, and 29 postseason bowl victories. We have also marched in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and the Tournament of Roses Parade twice. We are truly fortunate to be a part of a university and an athletic department that supports and appreciates our students' unique contributions to the University of Oklahoma's culture. The Pride of Oklahoma is unique among college marching bands in that everyone auditions every year. There are privileges that come with seniority within our program, but the privilege of membership is earned every season. This audition requirement promotes a culture of commitment, continuous effort, and personal growth rather than entitlement. Aud audition registration goes live each year on February 1st, and you can find complete specific details regarding the audition process on our website at bands.ou.edu. Students are rightfully concerned about their time in college, so I want to talk just a little bit about our time commitment with being a Pride of Oklahoma member. Marching Band is a late afternoon class, typically 4.30 to 6.30 p.m., and it serves as a break from the academic day and the studying and writing of papers and things you need to do at night. We rehearse Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday on home game weeks. We take Friday off on away game weeks. We never ever have extra rehearsals. We rehearse during our class time only. As far as performances, typically we'll have six home games Saturdays and one or two away games during the semester. So that's typically eight weekends on and then an additional eight weekends off during a 16 week semester. As far as majors and academics, if you're not majoring in music, don't let that discourage you from participating because 70% of our students are majoring in a field other than music. And in fact, we typically have well over 60 majors represented within our membership. If you're worried about making good grades, consider that the Pride includes 26 National Merit Scholars, 71 members of the Honors College, 57 Dean's List students, and 45 President's Honor Roll students, each of those students earning a 4.0 GPA in the previous semester. The best thing about all this for our prospective students is that you're going to meet students in your major field that are your age, a year older, or two or three years older, who can help guide you and help you navigate all the challenges of your specific major. We find that those students lock in much more quickly academically as a result. I want to thank all of you for your time and for allowing me to share this information with you. Please know that we would love to have you as a part of the Pride of Oklahoma. I hope you'll check out our band website at bands.ou. Edu, and feel free to email me directly with any questions that you have. Thank you again for your time, and Boomer Sooner. Rhapsody.
I would like to thank you for watching this video presentation. If you all are interested in our program and horn lessons, please uh, contact me at my email emattlick at ou.edu. We can set up a time for a remote lesson using Zoom and we'll be glad uh, to sit down and answer any questions that you have. For more information about the School of Music, go to httpmusic.ou.edu. Also, if you would like to schedule a tour of campus, whether it's an actual walking tour or doing a virtual tour, go to ou.edu and do a search for the Visitor Center. There, you can either schedule your personal tour or they have an online program that'll show you around the university. It's been my pleasure getting a chance to hopefully uh, share some information about us and best wishes in the future.